Good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday, August 11th. And just reporting in. Um, okay. On a scale of 1 to 10, how I feel emotionally. I'm like a 3. Yeah, I'm not on the floor. But I'm, I'm not happy, actually. Actually, to be honest, I woke up mad. Really, really mad. Yeah. Kind of really mad. Mad about my diagnosis. Mad about what I gotta go through. So, I just need to just go through this process so that I can not be so mad. And being mad has nothing to do with trusting God. In fact, the word of God says be angry and sin not. So I'm angry. And I'm in one of those moods where I don't feel like foolishness. And so besides my diagnosis and knowing that I have to go through chemo, I see the chemo doctor for a consult next Wednesday. Dr. Um, Barry, B-A-R-I. So I'll have to do some days at St. Clair's, some days at Marstown, depending on the treatment plan. I'm reading a couple of people's stories, not really a lot, because I don't want to get all rattled. But I do know nutrition plays a role in things, but a lot of oncologists don't look at that. Um, and I do know some things you can't. Take while you're on chemo because chemo actually releases free radicals to attach to cancer cells and kill them. And the antioxidants kill cancer cells. So we don't want to kill the chemo that's killing the cancer cells. So it's just a lot of information. I just rather just go talk to somebody. Maybe I'll go to this, um, they have a center for wellness at Morristown Memorial Hospital, the same place where my surgeon's at, 435 South Street. Maybe I'll go talk to somebody there because it'll make it easier because all the reading, everything's too overwhelming um, right now for today. Um, I'm kind of like where I was before, but on a different level because... You know, there is a treatment, and now I got to get a PET scan done. And my insurance went and paid for the PET scan to begin with, and I could have had those results yesterday. Just dealt with everything in one shot. So now I got to be knocked down, built back up, and then got to go through another process of hearing this and that. It's just too much. And then I have like inflammation all in my body, I ache everywhere. So they want to rule out things aren't in my bones, but my sed rate's high, and I do eat because I believe my body's fighting this, and I rebuke that that's in my bones. It's just, I'm just aching. So if I can get rid of the inflammation, I would be a lot happier person because the inflammation is the only thing that makes me know that I'm sick because I can actually physically feel it. Otherwise, I wouldn't feel it. So, just pray for me. I'm not really too happy. I'm grumpy. I'm moody. Had another thing yesterday where people once again wanted me to be who they want to be. And my expectations were disappointed again in other people. I got to get over that and let go of that. So I won't stress over that. And thank God for the good news that my left breast is not cancer. Now, it hurts, though. I don't know. It's one of those 12 needles still. Those were 12 needles. And um, like I said, if you look at my upper lungs. And it's just weird because it just came out of nowhere. And I'm doing the would have, should have, could have. You know, like, what could I have done differently? 
you know, I would have felt better if it was just in my breast, but that some of it's in, your, in my lymph nodes, but as far as they can see, it hasn't spread. But that's what the PET scan's for, even though I got the MRIs and it didn't show anything. It's just... It's amazingly a lot. So, it's weird. Kind of tear up to cry, but no tears slog. I'm too mad to cry right now. So, keep me in prayer. Yeah, this is crazy. Just keep me in prayer. I'm going to need it. I don't have to worry about. I don't want to worry about things. I don't want to worry about money and how we're going to make it. God is my provider. He's supposed to be my provider for everything I need. So, I'm going to cast all these cares on him. I have a busy day at work, meeting after meeting, where I got to talk to people I don't feel like talking. Now, when don't I feel like talking? So, yesterday, I didn't feel like talking and... It's like almost like darn if you do, darn if you don't. You think you're doing one thing right, and then one person has an issue, or another person has an issue with the way you did it. Like, come on, can we please move on past that? I just can't. It's too much. It's too much. So keep me in your prayers. Um, I'm gonna try to go off to the YMCA today and enjoy a membership. Um, one of my besties, Erica Johnson, she says she doesn't know how to swim. I don't know how that's going to work. I'm sure put that life jacket on so that she'll go with me swimming and then we'll go so I get my exercise in. I'm going to start exercising even though I'm in pain. I'm going to exercise in the pool. I'm going to sit in that jacuzzi. So this is not going to be looking fab tomorrow. Right now it's still wrapped around, you know, then hearing, oh, you're going to lose your hair and your eyebrows. I got a lot to deal with in a relatively short time to deal with all these decisions. So pray for me. I'm still in survivor mode. I'm just kind of knocked down right now. Love you guys.